from the start. You're the one who knows my heart. You are there for me, Jesus. You are showing me the way. Love and kindness every day. You are helping me, Jesus. So I'll follow. Wow, you definitely want to know what's in here. Ready? Let's count to three and I'll show you. One, two, three! Blocks! I love building blocks. You can make so many fun things. Today, I'm going to build a tower, but I'm giving myself a special challenge. I'm going to build a tower with my eyes covered so I can't see anything. Can you help me? Help me find a red block. Can you tell me where it is? Is it over here? Uh, over here? Am I getting close? <gasps> Yay, I found it! Now can you help me find a blue block? Uh, am I getting close? Is it around here? I found it again! Yay! Okay, now help me find a yellow block. Uh, over here? Is it more over here? Maybe... Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Building a block tower, are you? Hi, Ollie. I've been trying to stack blocks while wearing a blindfold. We need our eyes to see. It's true. I know someone who helped. Who? Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh. 
I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> I call these my helping hand friendship cupcakes because sometimes we all need a little help. Ooh, that reminds me of today's story. It's about how Jesus gives us people to help us. If you're ready for the story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Paul. Paul was not a friend of Jesus or any of Jesus' friends, but that all changed one day when Paul saw a really bright light and heard Jesus talk to him. Jesus told Paul to go to the city of Damascus and wait for someone to tell him what to do. So Paul did exactly what Jesus said. The only problem is, when Paul opened his eyes, he couldn't see. So now Paul can't see, and he is waiting in the city of Damascus for someone to tell him what to do. Paul waited, and waited, and waited. While Paul was waiting, Jesus told a friend named Ananias to go and help Paul. Look at Ananias. How do you think he feels about going to help Paul? Do you think he's afraid? Yes, I think Ananias is afraid. Ananias was afraid because he knew Paul was not a friend of Jesus or Jesus' friends. But Jesus told Ananias it was safe because Paul had changed and would now help a lot of people become friends with Jesus too. So Ananias did what Jesus said and went to help Paul. When Ananias saw Paul, Ananias called him friend and helped his eyes see again. Paul could see again! Wow! Paul knew Jesus wanted to be his friend forever. So right away, he went to tell others that Jesus wants to be their friend forever too. Jesus sent Ananias to help Paul. Then Paul wanted to help people know here there and everywhere that Jesus is God's son and wants to be their friend forever. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus sent a friend to help Paul. Then Paul went to help others, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Paul couldn't see. So Jesus sent Ananias to help Paul. Paul became one of Jesus' friends, and he traveled everywhere to tell people that Jesus wants to be their friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Thank you for playing this game with me. I'm gonna go find more friends so I can help them play it too. I'll see you next time, bye! Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19.